Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you something pretty amazing. So this is my main computer here, my gaming rig. And today I'm going to show you a full installation of Windows 8.1. Now, uh, please note that Windows 8.1 is just about the same size of Windows 8, so any speed advantage shown in this video isn't due to the fact that I'm using the um, 8.1 preview. It's because the computer is actually this fast. Now, it is using the um, normal Samsung uh, 840 series SSD and not the Pro version, so technically it could be even faster, so that's kind of impressive. And the installation medium is a USB 2 stick, so it could be faster than this, which is pretty insane. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about by uh, what I mean with fast, so I'm going to click right here. To boot from the uh, installation. Now, this should take approximately four minutes when I'm not counting the BIOS time and uh, manually entering information. So, there's no way I can prove that I didn't edit this video, but I hope you'll believe me. Wait, I can prove it by talking all the time, but I don't know what to say. So, yeah. Wait, camera won't focus. Okay. I will start counting from the moment that the actual installation is running, so... Starting up the setup doesn't really count, because... Well, yeah, obviously I have to enter information, and shit, I forgot about the serial. That's kind of annoying. I'll edit this part out, so... Let's see... This should be on the Microsoft page about the Windows 8.1 preview. Why did I close everything? I should stop closing tabs. Uh, let me see. Uh, Windows 8.1 release preview serial. 8.1 release preview serial. Product key, actually. Uh, yes, frequently asked questions. There we go. So let's enter this really quick. NTTX3 RV7 whoops 7 BT7X7 7 FWX YY9Y y, 92F Sorry about this part, this was kind of boring. Wait, I actually can't yeah, I can't ex uh, edit this out because, yeah, my computer isn't installed, so, yeah. It'll be like this, sorry about that. So, we'll start counting from the moment I click install. So, end user license agreement, custom, let's see here. Drive 0 is actually my SSD. So, yes, that's the reason, the main reason why it's so fast, because I'm using the SSD. So, here we go. Unlocate it. Those are my data data drives. Yes. Let's start counting now. Okay. No wait. Now. Yeah. I, okay. I'm not sure what I should say right now. So I'll likely just stay quiet. <coughs> You should be able to hear from the back background noise that I didn't cut this video anywhere, so... This is in fact the real speed of the installation and it's kind of impressive. Note the bar at the bottom. Okay. Now by installation, I mean the part from starting this until you are able to enter user information again. So, well, I will show the part after that too, but the actual real installation only takes about four minutes. So the copying of the files and the few initial reboots until you are greeted with the out-of-the-box experience wizard thingy. That's the point when I stopped counting the previous time. 
Sorry for not being able to hold this uh, iPad still. It's kind of hard. 72%. So yeah, it's clearly racing through that uh, installation like it's nothing. This is quite funny. Quite funny. Yeah, not really, but <laughs> sorry. Not enough hands. Not enough hands, sorry. Ninety six percent. There you go, one hundred percent. Look at that bar on the top. Uh bottom, sorry, bottom. Okay. I'm going to click restart now. This is not a part of the installation. It's just waiting ten seconds for user input. Okay. This is the bio screen, it also doesn't really count, but it doesn't stay there for very long, so it doesn't really matter. This does count. This is part of the initial uh, startup uh, where it actually starts detecting and installing devices, mainly graphics drivers and stuff. Well, the temporary graphics driver, the basic driver. It won't be able to recognize this graphics card because it's too new and shit, it booted off my USB drive. I always mess something up now, don't I? Stupid iOS. Yeah, um, I'm going to re upload this video after the first time because I have to cut out this stupid mess up. I'm supposed to boot from the SSD. Thank you very much. Ah, Jesus Christ. Well, actually, I won't edit this out because then you can see it's edited. So I think I'll edit in a timer or something that shows the part that are actually related to the installation because this is just plain stupid like this. Okay, look at this. This is just insane. I mean, seriously. Already seven minutes or eight minutes into the video because of all this bullshit happening. Okay, so I'm assuming it'll automatically boot from the SSD right now. Yeah, it does. Should have just removed the USB stick. I'm not going to redo this because I don't want to wear out my SSD like crazy because I still need to install a shitload of programs. Okay, that's it. That's really it. So, let's pick where we're at. Workstation 1 is the computer name. Actually, let's capitalize that. So, let's use custom settings because I don't want Microsoft to have all of my private information, like whatever. Uh, updates, yes, yes, yes. No smart screen. Error reporting, sure. Compatibility. No, no, no. Next. Don't do that. Don't send search history to Microsoft. And don't send anything related to Windows Defender. Okay. So they kind of screwed this part up in this uh, Windows 8.1 preview you actually have to sign up with a Microsoft account, so that's stupid. So I'm just going to enter invalid bullcrap because there's no button to skip this. Now it'll say that this is an invalid account and you can click create a local account now on the right. Yeah, that's retired. Something went wrong, yes I know. Create a local account. Let me type in name here. I'm not going to set up a password right now. Because I'm going to have to reboot this computer a million times before I'm finally done installing everything I need. Now this is not part of the installation anymore. The actual installation of Windows, this is just setting up the user profile and stuff. Back in a moment, why does it do that? 
That's actually a kind of a USB drive. Man. Where is it? Looking through the camera here. Fake apple, yay! Whatever. Here's a real apple computer, iMac. Yeah. Welcome back, thank you. That's nice of you. So this is all related to the user account. At least I think it is. It doesn't take long either, so this is just so fast. It's funny really. There we go, done. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing I do when installing Windows 8 or 8.1 is move the desktop title to the top left corner. So now I can press enter and it'll show my desktop. So that's kind of useless. Uh, useful. Useless. No, it's not useless. Thank you for watching and sorry for messing up in the middle of this video. Bye.